All right, guys, what's up? This is a review video for the 6.XX Pro B10 custom firmware, whether you be on 620, 635, 639, or 660 like I am right here. I'm running a PSP Go model, and just to prove that to you, I'm going to slide the clock open right here real quick. There's the clock for the PSP Go. I'm just going to slide that back up. Also proving to you, I'll scroll down here, and you will see Bluetooth device settings. This firmware is not for the PS Vita, by the way, just saying. So all the basic settings are pretty much the same, so I'm not really going to go over that. PSN is enabled, and you are able to access your account. ISO and CSOs are playable. Checking out the VSH menu here, where we have the overclock of 333 by 166 still. And uh, let's go take a look at the recovery menu real quick, because everything else is pretty modest. So looking at the recovery menu now. You can toggle the USB, run the PSP recovery eboot in case you have a PSP 1000 or 2000 model. Configuration, going down here, the ISO mode, obviously. The language fake region recovery font, you can change that if you take the recovery fonts given to you with a download for this and put them in your SC plugins folder and set that up. Nice, nice, nice. Hide your MAC address, um, the XMB USB device, which is your memory stick pretty much, or your HDD, however you want to say it. Skip the game boot, skip the Sony logo. Use the custom update server, leave that enabled. There is a custom update server with this one, just to let you know, that's why it's there. Slim colors, all that, hide um, the pick zero and pick one.png in the game menu. Prevent your hibernation on your PSP Go, change the charge the battery when it's in. If we go back here, go to advance, you will see the XMB plugin and the game pops, the no DRM engine, uh, memory stick speed up, you can change that to always, none, pop, game, VSH, pop and game, game and VSH, VSH and pop, or always. Hide custom firmware files from game, leave that enabled. Analog input, old plugin support for PSP Go. And let's go back one more time. CPU speed, that's where you overclock it. Plugins, you can have them on system storage or memory stick if you have PSP Go. If you don't, it's just going to automatically go to your memory stick. Registry hacks. Activate the WMA, flash, delete hibernation for PSP Go only, and swap the circle for the X. And that's about it. So, let's go back here, and coming over. Pro settings work with this for XMB control if you have it. So, that's about it. So, that's the review of 6XX Pro B10 custom firmware. This is the fixed version, and the install video is going to be up prominently soon. So, stay tuned for that. And see you guys later.